Hello everyone! In this video we are going to implement the parallax uh, scrolling background feature to our uh, 2D Unity game. Ok, I have some uh, trees in my art folder and I just uh, pick them and plant in my scene view. I'll plant three of them. Now I have to create a new empty game object and name it, uh, say, foreground trees. Now I pick all of these trees and put them to foreground trees game object. And now I plant some more trees to my scene view and place them to another. Uh, I'll create another empty game object and name it uh, background, background trees. Ok, to make these trees be rendered behind my character, we have to change order in layer to say minus 5 for this, for foreground trees and to minus 10 for our background trees. Now all of our trees are rendered behind our character. And I think we should make our background trees a little bit mm, bigger and place them right here. Ok. Now we have to create a new camera and name it a background camera. Background camera, ok. And uh, we make our background camera be child of our main camera and reset it. Now we create a new layer and name it background. Now let's change some options in our cameras. For our main camera we are going to change uh, the clear facts first, which will be the depth only. The next thing to change is a culling mask, so our camera will render anything except uh, background. The next change goes to our background camera. First of all we'll change clear effects to skybox and the culling mask will be changed so uh, our camera will render only background. Change the projection to orthographic, the size will be changed a bit later and clipping planes will be changed to zero and depth will be changed to minus one so our background camera is rendered behind our main camera. And we should disable audio listener because only one audio listener is allowed in current scene. Now let's change the size of our background camera to 7. So the bigger the size of camera is, the stronger the parallax background scroll effect is. And the last thing to do is to change the layer for our background trees game object. It will be background. So our background camera renders only background trees. Ok, now let's hit play and see what we've got. And everything seems working fine. Ok, thank you for watching, see you next time.